Hello and welcome to 3231 Philadelphia Drive here in Dayton. This is a two bedroom, two bath condo. We work our way here around the front. You can see here is the front entrance. It's going to take you up through the steps. That's going to take you into the common foyer area. And then from there, you can go up the steps to the second floor. This unit is going to be on the first floor. Now, I'm going to take you around to the right here before we step inside and do show you the private entrances to the garage here. So there is no no open public parking for this condo. You, you go through these garage doors for your own private two parking spaces. And so I figured it would definitely be worth pointing out, driving over here and showing you. You got the two entrances here and those are garage door opener uh, work. And then you're also gonna notice right above it, this balcony here does go with unit 1A, which is the unit that we have listed. Uh, this balcony, uh, private balcony does go with it. All right, we've taken a look at the outside. This is an HOA association. So with this HOA, it is going to cover your uh, out near a lawn care, snow removal, exterior maintenance of the building, uh, maintenance of the uh, interior common spaces including the garage, uh, all come with the HOA fee. All right, let's go ahead and make our way in the front door and take a look inside. Okay, so we've made our way in through the front door of the condo and uh, sorry about the echo here, it is empty. Uh, on the left, this is going to take you into the kitchen, a little bit of a circular floor plan here. We'll open that door, let the light come in. So there is the kitchen and we'll take a look at it as we move around. Here on the right, really nice sized double coat closet. And then this is gonna bring you right into the great room. And this room is huge, a big room. Set up right now for a dining area here and then the living area here. So as you can see, tons of space with that. Again, it is two bedrooms and two full baths. I talked about, you know, being able to do the circular motion here in the kitchen. We'll come in this direction. And uh, right here, you'll notice there's enough space to make this an eat-in kitchen, so you can put a small table there. And then you've got double pantry, so two pantries here. Refrigerator is working. Tons of cabinetry, as you can see here, and it has been updated, the cabinets have. It does have all the appliances in place. Make our way out and back into the great room here. As you can see, we do have can lighting all the way around. Okay, making our way into the hallway. To the right is going to be the guest bedroom, and then to the left is going to be the master bedroom. You've got a guest full bath here. We'll go ahead and take a look, as you can tell. Tile floor is in really good shape. And there's the full shower. Commode area. And there's a linen closet in here as well. Go back down the hallway, and we're going to go into the master bedroom first. Really nice sized bedroom here. It's got a huge window, built-in dresser system, and two walk-in closets. And we'll make a turn here so you can see those. Walk-in closet number one already has some built-ins in it. Walk-in closet number two. And here's your built-in shelving. Through here is going to take us into the, uh, the Jack and Jill style bathroom between the two bedrooms. It's a little dark in here, so I do apologize. So again, it's like a Jack and Jill style uh, bath. As you can see, it does have the linen closet here. I got a little bit of light for us. Huge sink, so it's a built-in vanity with it. And this has got the shower and tub combo. And then it's gonna bring us right into bedroom number two. Now, this one's really cool. It's got this built-in shelving and dresser system here, as you can see. Really nice. Work our way through. This one also offers the walk-in closet. A nice size closet there as well. All right, we'll make our way back into the great room. Now, the one thing I didn't point out, and I'll go ahead and point this out quickly as I'm coming through here, you do have your own patio here, and then I'll bring you out here through the doors. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and meet you down in the basement so we can take a look at the laundry and the parking area. Okay, so you make your way down from the common area, and it's gonna bring you into the basement. Now, in the basement area is the washer and dryer room, and it's two washers, two dryers. Everybody has a set day here based off the board, and they're constantly updating and replacing these washers and dryers. Uh, over the last three or four years, I've been in this building several times, and they're always putting new units in. From here, it's gonna bring you out into the private garage, and that's what we've seen from the outside. Now that we're coming in, you'll see it from the inside. Now, it's a little dim in here. Uh, it is a garage after all. And you walk through, you notice all this ceiling is going to be replaced from some flooding, and as we get over to this unit's parking area, uh, they've got the insulation currently stored here. So, the double doors that we've seen coming through the video uh, from the front, those are the two doors you come in. So, as you can tell, it's very private down here. 
work our way around. These two parking spaces here and here would belong to this unit. And then here at the back, you've got your own storage unit as well. Work our way in. As you can see here, a nice little storage unit. Now, nobody likes walking the steps when it comes to grocery day. So to help, right back here in the corner, they actually have an elevator. And this will take you up to both floors. And they also keep little baskets down here for you to help carry your groceries in. Again, we're at 3231 Philadelphia Drive, apartment unit 1A. Thanks and have a great day.